epic intro music. Hello, Bedwars, hello, good fix here, and welcome back to part 32 of my Rohan campaign, The Divide and Conquer, version 5. Let's just get into it. This is the Battle of Agenya. Attack! I've got a couple of goals for the next few episodes. I want to get Ennard Wife finally finished off in the next few parts, and I want to reach turn 100. Let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> okay, right, you get over there. And you get over there, we're doing a classic split, like we often do. And hopefully I am controlling uh, Leonair 2. And we finally, oh we are not, okay, so we pressed, we ticked the wrong box again. <laughs> I still have no clue how that works, um, I just can't remember it, I just can't remember it. So if you leave both of them ticked, you get this little order thing in the top right, okay. So we're basically going to shoot at them. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Fire! It remains as such. Okay, you're going to come down here. If they're going to take some of the army up there, you're going to hit the rest of them. And I may end up redoing this battle because I thought I was controlling the whole other army too. If he gets too many of those troops killed, I'm just going to redo it. <laughs> the archers are going down. Okay, and back out. Are there any fishermen? Hit them! Hit them! <laughs> hit them! Right. Oh, that's Ema, and not Ema. I still get the names mixed up. <laughs> if we continue like this, okay, uh, get back out. Get back out. Okay, so he's just ploughing into everybody. Okay. They're shaken already. I've still got him on defensive stance, so hopefully he does what he, you know, he doesn't just charge in like an idiot. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, good. I'll just get them all in, honestly. And what has happened to Leofen? Is he in there too? Okay, you hit the Fallen Warriors. Good, I think it's gone well enough. I think it's gone well enough. It is also really handy not having to control all the troops. That is always really good. Um, it's just that, of course, as you know, they don't always control them very effectively. But it is a lot easier when you don't control the rest of them. <laughs> uh, now we'll switch to aggressive because we want to hunt them all down. And fast forward. And that's another thing. You don't even have to hunt them down because the AI will do it for you. Can you kill him? Good. So a very easy first battle there, only five minutes in. Good. One guy lived to tell the tale. Good stuff. I have plans to defeat Ennard Wife. They've still got the Doomstack, of course. Their Doomstack has not spawned yet. At least I don't think it has. But yeah, I mean, we've basically taken all of Ennard Wife. We've taken all of Minhiriath as well, because the Dol Vorn area over here is on the other side of the river so it's n i don't think that's even considered minheria so we got yule and prince leonet and leofin 
all on this front with Erkenbrand coming up. We do have a few others like um, Freka. I feel like I kind of want Freka to be the one to take on the goblins because we're going to have to go back and finally finish off the goblins. Uh, the only reason why we pieced out with them is purely just because we didn't want to have to fight the goblins at the same time as Zen and White because... Honestly, if we'd had to split this force up between the goblins and another wife, we probably would have got crushed, and we wouldn't, and we would have had less troops on the Mordor front too. So, I don't think it could have gone much better. I think we've absolutely moved everything. I think we are ready to end the turn, and I want to go put a watchtower here and try to lure stuff out to attack me. And then, of course, we'll probably still win, but this stack will reinforce anyway on the next turn and once Dol Vorn is ours that is basically all of their territory ours. We can see with the boundary line they have Buzzra Doom but Buzzra Doom is actually a dwarven settlement so it's they can't have much more <laughs> you know they can't have much more this is basically Ennard Wife defeated. Okay so I'm ready to end the turn let's go. And there's one thing regarding the dwarves of Ered Luin that I wanted to go over quickly but I'll go over it better in a future episode is that they as they're semi-evil they're still fighting angmar so i don't want to i kind of don't want to get in their way the only way i'm actually going to go to war against the dwarves of ered lewin is if they start if they launch an invasion on the shire if they actually step foot in the lands of the shire we are going to intervene and go to war against the dwarves i think uh, for now, obviously, we're not, because we are focusing on Ennard Wife, so that's why I said I'll probably mention it more in a future episode. Okay, so Mordor are, again, still winning battles, which is not good. But at least they will be depleted. Hopefully, by the time we get round there again... Yeah, okay, they, they're really beating Gondor back, which is not good. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, hopefully by the time we get round there again, their forces will be depleted and we'll be able to rip through them with Irma more, uh, more effectively than last time too, because the elite armies are defeated, obviously. Okay, Fornost has been rebuilt. That's fantastic, which means that the Northern Dunedain are doing really, really well. They've rebuilt their old capital. And that, that is a, a positive. That means we are winning the wars in the north section of the map. I think that's because we are absolutely battering Ennard Wife. And we have already... We battered the Goblins of Moria a little bit too. And we have obviously eliminated Dunland and Isengard. So that takes the presence out of the west side of the map. Okay, so we've got a mission to take Dol Vorn, And we're going to do that anyway. But that means we get extra money for doing so. Uh, Oswald has come of age. That is fantastic. That is Fear Dreads second son. Ema now has his full stack so he can get back over there and also build a watchtower here. We built the Lord's Hall in the Hornburg, the Market in Foldberg, the Grain Exchange in Karis Nurnaled and the Standing Stones in Paul Willishaw. It depends if we're going to need troops here really and I don't feel like we're going to need too many troops there so I think we go with the Master's Mason's Hall for now. Same with here, Master Mason's Hall because we can build them up later and quicker and then look we need to start getting the economy over here so we're going to get the crop rotation Aldberg okay yeah the master's mason's hall at Aldberg that is good okay so we want basically just him in western Osgiliath and it's going to be just building troops building troops and building troops and we're constantly going to be moving those troops to east Osgiliath to defend so we want a full stack here and we want a full stack in the field and we want to keep reinforcing them we could take Leonair to fight him. I will move away because we can remember what's in there. I just want to see. Okay, so there's not really anything else coming around by the looks of it. And we can now see Buzzra Doom. And that has the new faction leader in it. And then we want to kind of just see if they've got anything else. Uh, Under Towers is easy to spot because of the landmark. Yeah, so I'm going to send both armies to fight him. And I'm going to besiege down this place, although I'm not going to siege it down until I know that he can get supported because he's only got two units. So let's take the attack. We'll hit Ennard Wife first because we've already done a battle against Ennard Wife. We should whoop them. And look, Leothan with full command. How has he managed that? <laughs> right, the second battle against Ennard Wife is now. And then we will get the siege going on Dol Vorn. And this will be the Battle of Eren Vaughan, or whatever the region's called. We don't really need to position, because we always move them instantly anyway. 
Okay, we've got a good archer line this time. And I like where they're positioned already, if I'm being perfectly honest. We're just going to turn the skirmish mode off. Yeah, I mean, one guy's behind, but I'm not going to move them just for that. And then the cavalry should be fantastic because we've got... Um, we have now Yule and Leonair together. And you're going to get over there. And we're just kind of going to wait for them. And then we've got our reinforcements on that side anyway. So maybe we go around, we all go around this side. Because they're going to get hit from that side anyway. We're leaving him in defensive because we don't want him to get the troops killed. Okay, they're coming quite fast. They're coming quite fast. They are missile cav though. So they should get shot down, but... I'm happy to send Yule at him. scare him off. The Tauter, they're all shaking because of the Drudane with the poison arrows, basically. You'll get into them. Okay, you close in. Okay, they're routing already. <laughs> Um, honestly, cavalry, you hit the archers. They're going to have a mass route already. Yep. So basically one already. Yeah, <laughs> they're all routing already. Aggressive. Oh yeah, stop firing please now. And that's enough for me. 17 men left. Good. Okay, so we're really crushing them. And I think I will send Prince Leonir to Buzz Redoom straight away. Yes, my lord. It doesn't look like they have much. They, I might be mistaken, but it doesn't look like they have much to the west. We will probably bring Fiedrid in with us, so he might retreat. I'm going to hit him. I feel like we'll be fine taking this army on our own. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just take both of these out just with Flaffer alone. I think it's doable. There's a couple of cavalry units in this one, but I'm not too fussed about that. And this one is a little bit depleted. There's some good stuff in it, like there's six armored trolls, and there's quite a lot of spears in that. But I, I think we can take it. We've got a catapult as well. This will actually be the first time trying out the catapult in this playthrough. So let's go. If we can get a good win here, it will pave the way nicely. And I'm going to do Flaming Arrow because it lowers the morale and it's also really fun and you can see the missiles better. But I, I think the Flaming Arrow is actually less accurate, but I'd like to just do it. I think it'll be fun. And there's less cavalry, so we have to focus more on the actual infantry line itself. So the spears will form the basis of the line. And then the other guys are, of course, as you know, the flanking troops. So we're going to instantly run the cab over here because there's obviously less of them. Um, 
and yeah, we'll, we'll move the spears up straight away actually because there's a lot of enemies. And we can run them if they get a bit closer. And then you three again, I think, just there for the moment. Because I, I find that if you go too crazy with deflanking troops, they just direct more troops at them, you know? Okay, so let's go. The trolls are going to be a bit of a pain, but I think we can probably just send Flaffair back once they get into combat. A orc band, we could hit the orc band, they're spears, but I think it would be better to distract them. They're weak spears, so... Another cycle charge. Okay, look, so the, the Oluk High have gone past the line already. Uh, I don't think the flank really matters too much on these guys, but we'll uh, do it anyway, and we'll send Lefebvre back. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Okay, Clefair, kill the Yolokai. And actually, one of you two go up there, and one of you down here. Come on, run. Oh, they're not running. Oh, that didn't go well. Okay. Luckily, they're only the York Band, um, and Clefair should be doing his thing now. Okay, you get into them. Lefair, what are you doing? Come on. You get over there and we'll get you back in. Okay, good. They've done that. They've done that. Good. Now we need to just check the line because we're not moving the flanking units over here. Okay, the heavy infantry is coming round. Um, that is good for now. They'll hold the line. Guard mode. Guard mode. Guard mode. Guard mode, guard mode. <laughs> okay, um, you guys kill them, and then you guys... We will hit these guys. And then Clefair back in, back in, back in. Run, please. There we go. We need to be relieving the line a little bit better than this. Okay, so that's quite good. They haven't actually gone for these units. Although we should have been running them around a little bit quicker. Because these are our good Riddermark Axemen as well. Um, okay, now you guys get back into the archers. Good. Okay, keep cycle charging those archers and then we will relieve the line. You crush them. And you just get into them as well. Run. And then, oh, we forgot to turn the catapult on, but it's not like we really needed it. Oh, okay, so the cavalry is coming behind now. Uh, we might lose the catapult here. I forgot to fire with the catapult. Although now we don't really want to fire with the catapult either. 
Okay. So we're going to have to turn these guys around. Now they've dealt with the Olakai. Okay. And then he's going to have to get through, I think. He's going to have to fight some Black Uruks, maybe. Okay, you're going to have to get back over there, I think. We could kill them on the way. There's only f there's hardly any of them. Yeah, Clefair has routed the Black Uruks. Okay, you kill them, and honestly, you just get back into them. We need to get this half of the line turned back round. That should all route now. Yet yeah, broken, broken, get back around. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, that's just going to have to do for now. You get over there. Okay, we're a bit crushed over here. Um, are they not routing yet? No. Okay. Um... At least the catapult, look, has just fired right into the middle of these guys. Look. <laughs> oh, that is good. That is good. We've been saved there. <laughs> Clefair is looking slightly weak, though. I think I would like to get Clefair out. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, you go that way. Come on, get out. Everybody else except Lefair, hit them. And um, what are we doing over here? Have we won on this side yet? They are fighting to the death, okay. Um, so you guys are going to have to just kind of get moving. Oh no, they've all gone. They've charged Lefair. Oh god. Okay, don't die please. <laughs> good tidings. Good, good, good. Okay. That guy's down. Okay, now he'll probably route. Good. And they're routing two are they? Yep. Yeah. They're routing two. Oh no, Halbids, don't do that. Halbards. Okay. Um, okay, so. We have to make sure we do this right now. Um, you hit them. And then you move up there. And then... Honestly, you're going to have to... Maybe you get into the archers. Um, and then infantry, we'll get the, you guys into them, and then we'll have to get the cavalry round for a rear charge. Good successful battle, good successful battle, you get run, run that way, go in the back. Hey, you kill them, you kill the archers. Kind of going into the halberds there. It's not what I wanted. Oh no, they're archers. Oops. Well, 
Well, they're wavering now. Just make them route, please. Uh, good. Okay, everyone should route now. And then all of the infantry after they route the archers. Okay, you're going to have to go for them. And then you guys are going to have to go for them because the halberds still govern. So Fiatra just joined the battle now as well. <laughs> The Halberds always cause us the most hassle. They have defeated an Axeman unit. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to we will just hunt them down. And that should be the entire army deleted too. I'm going to make sure I get all of them though. Good work. I really see the tide turning now. This is a... Oh, we forgot to look at the kills. Oh well. Okay, so I'm actually going to end the turn again already. I am expecting you to attack this time. Well, we'll definitely kill these guys that they've thrown at us. Um, okay, so the Northern Dunedain have declared war on Ered Lewin, which is, we will be sticking with the Northern Dunedain, of course. So, by Northern Dunedain, would you prefer it's the aggressor? Yes. Okay, so we will probably help out in that war now. That's probably solidified that decision for me. They probably launched an attack on the Shire, like I mentioned. Okay, so we have built the market at Karas. We've upgraded Lond and Gren to a city, and we've got the standing signs at East Osgiliath. But we're going to go bit by bit to see if we can spot anyone. Okay, so we've got one guy here. I will happily move in that guy's range. <laughs> We'll fight him on the next turn, if he doesn't already want to fight us. Okay, so we're taking Dol Vaughan on this turn, I think. Yes. So we're going to break the siege up here, and we're going to capture Dol Vaughan. This guy, we will just charge down instantly. He's got one unit of axes, and this guy shouldn't be that hard to figure out either. So let's just get on with it. The battle for Dol Vaughan. Ooh, it's a bridge battle, it's a bridge battle. I didn't even know that. Okay. We will still rush it. Because we need to get across, essentially. Uh, because we need to get across to win the battle. If they hold us on the bridge, we're doomed. So we just need to push everybody over. Although, there are other armies coming from behind us, so we don't actually need to do that at all. Oh, that's a pain, isn't it? That is a pain. Maybe the Eerid Lancers can just deal with those guys, because they're on that side, look. Yeah, let's just turn the army around then. Or if we even defend from that side of the bridge, it could be even easier for us, though. Because if they have to get across the bridge, they're screwed, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, maybe we get the whole army across the bridge, then. Here we go. The moment of truth. Will we crush them? Defeat is a distinct possibility. Yes, okay, we've taken the captain down already, so we will try to get all of our troops across the bridge. Um, the Iriad Lancers coming in to assist too, so they are done for. They're going to probably, yeah, they've already routed. Okay, so we're now going to get on the side of this bridge and we're going to defend the bridge against them. Hopefully it works like that. Yeah, they do look like they're coming at us. Let's do it. Um, the Spearmen. Let's get you there. <laughs> and then Axemen support. And then Cavalry Archers um, over here. 
We'll position them slightly better in a minute. Okay, so the riders are the fold. I'll probably stick here. Now you two go there, and then you just smack in the middle, please. And then you guys are done. Now they could actually... Could, ooh, the one thing I thought about, though, is they might sit at the other end of the bridge and just stop. That could be... It's too late now, I've committed, but... That could also be what they do, if they're smart, which would not be good. <laughs> Can you block it with shield wall? Yeah. Come on, they're coming. Yeah, I think they're coming across. Please come across. Yes, good. Okay, all start shooting, please. As Rohan, this probably wasn't the greatest idea, though, if I'm being perfectly honest, but it's fun. We've not done a bridge battle yet. When you have, like, the dwarves or infantry-focused armies or archer-based armies, you can just crush them with this method. Because they just basically can't get through the spear wall while you shoot them with everything. Victory will be ours. And also, the cavalry dies on the spears too, so perfect engagement. And then once they've got through the spears, they have no men left. Yeah, they're just getting absolutely battered, look. <laughs> yep, Dolvorn is ours. That should rout their entire army too. So yeah, we won just like that by doing nothing. Um, yeah. They're still trying to get through the spears, look. Okay, those guys are shooting at us, but... So they've got an advantage, but it's alright. Okay, so we did take a bit of damage to missile fire, but... Yeah, we're just going to have to... We, this is how we chose to play it. <laughs> oh, now they're sending the archers into melee. Okay, we'll just hit them. Okay, we'll send the cavalry in too then, if that's how they want to play it. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. So we have captured the settlement. Uh, we will just end it there. One guy left. But I thought a bridge battle would be fun, and I think it was. I feel like this has been a very productive one. Who are we leaving behind? Should we just leave the infantry? I think we should just leave the infantry. Yeah, and we got two grand for that. So we're just going to sack it, and we can hold it like that, which is good. So we'll get the standing stones, and then we'll just move the cavalry on. And look, we can actually overtake Leofan as well now. <laughs> <laughs> so now we fight we've got two grand there for taking Dol Vaughan. so yeah Ennard Wife I'm surprised that Ennard Wife is even still a faction <laughs> so we're going to fight the armies over here too and Prince Fiedred has returned okay so he retreated which makes it even easier for us because we don't have to fight them at the same time 
free lots of archers, host, maulers. I, none of that is anti-cav. Oh yeah, we don't actually have a lot of cav, but we will still tear for a bit. And we'll remember to use the catapult this time. Although we did end up melting through the heavy cavalry with it, which was quite fun. Oh, we've ended up on a bridge of battle, which is fine, it's fine. So we'll just hit them with the catapult for now. Oh, I love the catapults. Yes! Oh, this is going to be so good. They're going to have to come to us. Look at the catapult crew. <laughs> They're funny hats. Good. Yes. So I might fast forward while the catapult just uses all its ammo. But look at that. A full unit of bodyguard. 44 of them. That's probably the well, one of the best units in the game. And if they want to move the archers up first, they're going to get crushed. Look, routing already. Oh, yes. <laughs> you just imagine getting a few units of catapults. Maybe I'll do the city management at the start of the next one. Oh yes, planted right in there. Look, we've killed 17% of them and we haven't even engaged yet. Yeah, let's just speed it up while the catapult fires. Yeah, they might not be coming at us again, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're out of catapult, and we have killed a quarter of the army. So the Helmingus tried to trigger them with these guys, because they might be able to outrange the Orc archers. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're just going to whittle them down as much as possible. Yeah, look, they can't even hit us. <laughs> That is the postman that Kingsley is barking at. Not sure if that's going to go well because they'll be able to shoot us too, but it means they should be able to shoot from here. Okay, and we're bringing them in now, look. Probably get a few of them killed, but otherwise it's going to take all day, so. Are they retreating or are they. What are they doing? It's a bit of a weird one, but they do stand there, look. Okay, they, they can fire now. Shoot. Oh, seems to be working. Oh, no, no, what are you doing? No, 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 no. And now they're getting shot because they moved funny. I think we just tried to send the cavalry through now. It's a little bit risky. We don't actually have tons. Let's send the axes and the swords as well. Don't know why. Then It's not letting me send the those guys across. But it's letting me send him across. That's annoying. No. Okay. See what we can do with Theodred then, because we know he's tough. Well, look, they might be sending them across now. No, okay. Let's hit those maulers. I'm going to put the speed down, though, in case he gets caught. Look, we're going to hit the archers, because if we get them out... We can just keep cycle charging the infantry. And the rest of them are just maulers, so they're not going to do anything. Okay. This is taking us back a little bit. We haven't done a battle where we've just relied on the Theodred since the beginning of the campaign. Only half the enemy 
Look at that, we're just crumbling them. <laughs> oh. oh, got a bit of a cough. <laughs> okay, let's hit them again. Let's use the special ability. Oh, and we've missed the special ability too, because the ones that aren't the top heroes, they just have the blow the horn, rally the troops thing. It's only the named, the big boys who get that fun one. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Okay. Those guys are shaken. Um, but honestly, if the hosts are coming through, I'll just hit them too. We've almost killed them all already. Yeah, Theodra just crumbles the Orc host, look. <laughs> we still want to keep cycle charging. We'll only lose a couple of people that replenish. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good stuff. He, he must have been a little bit uh, rusty, having not fought a battle in ages. <laughs> well, we might as well just bring the rest of the cavalry across now, too. Yeah, let's not let me actually bring everybody else across. I don't know why. Bit of an odd battle. It's only actually let me take Theodred across the river. Yeah, look, it's only letting me bring that one unit of archers. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Come on, let's let's round them off now. We're making this take a little bit too long. Okay, they're routing. Good. We brought him over to start shooting even though we don't need to. <laughs> okay, we'll get him to stop firing too because he's just going to shoot at Fiedrid. <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be the captain at the back, because he's the only one that doesn't have one of the axes. Okay, we'll just kill him, even though there's only a couple of them. Interesting battle. Interesting battle. Okay, and we'll kill them. And again, I do want to fight the other one. We're going to try to get more productive episodes in. Good. 527 kills by Fear Tripler. We could have just done it with him, really. <laughs> now, they have slightly higher tiered troops, but no ranged units. So, have fun using the catapult again here. Okay, and let's just see how that goes. We'll try to do most of the work with Fear Drid again. Okay, the catapult's already firing, look. We should get some good catapult kills in. Black Uruk's on the right. We'll hit them. What are they doing? They're bringing the army back. Okay. Are they going for the high ground? <laughs> Good work, catapult. I do like the catapult. Right. Okay. Theodred. You just hit the Black Urx. Come on. They're bringing it back in now, so I don't know what changed their mind. Yeah, I'm happy just to fire. They're in range of the Helmingus. Because they've got a lot of armoured troops here. Nah, like, they've got a lot of Easterlings with the cool armour. Easterlings look amazing. 
They got halberds, two units of halberds, got the black urex, and yeah, they've just got basically stuff that we don't like all that much. Um, I'm happy to hit the hit those. I don't want to lock all of the cavalry units into combat though. Yeah, look at that. We got a good kill there. Yeah, they're shaken already. And they only got like one kill on us. Maybe a couple. But they are Black Urux. And it looks like they might be coming at us with the cavalry. So we kind of want to see what they do. So that will free up the rest of the army. <laughs> oh, I love the catapults. Okay, so they look like they're sending a lot of the heavy cav at us, which is not really what we want. But we're going to have to put all of our cavalry into it if we want to defeat it. Okay, Eerid Lancers. I think we're going to have to sandwich the heavy cav here. Oh, and we're going to bring the flanking troops round because they're about to hit the ar archers. That's not good. So run and honestly, uh, you plow straight into them and you go around the back. Okay, you push through, um, you just hold for a bit, and you guys are just going to have to deal with this, they should be able to win, there's quite a lot of them, but there's 39 of our elite troops, plus we've got all of these guys supporting, so they should crush them. You get in as quickly as possible. Okay, you... Run faster, please. Alright, you now get into them. You go over there. You hit the Easterlings. They're routing already. You two crush them. You get now into the back of them. And once we kill the captain and these guys route, come on, come on, come on, uh, we will crush them with the rear attacks. Okay, you get into them. Actually, yeah, just keep your target, keep your target, that's fine. Uh, that should be alright over here too. Oh, stop, whoa, 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 fire at them, fire at them. The catapult being a bit cheeky there, firing at our own men. Okay, well, if we doesn't matter if he escapes. If he's routing, he's not going to do anything. Look, um, now you get over there. Feardred will be enough on his own, I think. Catapult, stop firing. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see us. Okay, I think looking at the time, we're going to do the city management at the start of the next one. We'll just end this one and end the episode there. And I think it's gone well. Okay, and then we'll get the flank attacks going. Uh, honestly, we're going to get the archers to stop firing now too. And we've killed 48%, but they're all about to rout. And we will just murder them all, so... It's not going to be difficult now. Clear them up. Only half the enemy force remains. Good, good, good. If one or two escape, I don't mind. Okay. 
Okay, you ten go that way. Okay, they're all routing now, look. Okay, they're screwed. Okay. Good. Right, let's fast forward time. Good. Okay, great episode. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.